It is the start of November and as of today, two of the ski resorts here in the Canadian Rockies have opened for the season. Mount Norquay and Lake Louise are both open and ready to go. Now it is still very early season conditions, but we are just excited to get back out on the boards, put our gear on and just start riding again. So we're gonna do Norquay today and then hopefully go to Lake Louise this weekend as well. So we'll show you both of them. I'm just so stoked to get out riding again. So we're up at Norway now, just getting ready. And I was thinking on the way up, I don't think I've ever actually been to Norway during the day. We've only ever come for night riding or for tubing here. It's exciting to be here on opening day and actually experience it. This year we've bought a Ski Big 3 pass. So we have unlimited access to Mount Norway, Sunshine and Lake Belize, which is gonna be really, really nice. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. <laughs> we'll probably just do a couple laps here. It's only the one chair that they have running. This is the same one they use for night skiing. Is it called Cascade? Yes. Cascade chair. Uh, but there is a full park like set up as well, which is not super my thing yet, but Tristan does like it. So we're pretty happy to be here. It's so warm. It's like three degrees. It's not even cold today. So brilliant conditions. this year is to get a little bit more confident in the park um, it's something Tristan's really good at and really enjoys so it's something I would like to do a little bit more but I just find it so terrifying I feel like I'm just gonna break every bone in my body if I do something so <laughs> but I'm learning there's a few extra small features here which is quite nice so I just went over at the tiniest little box I've ever seen in my life but it's a good intro <laughs> I'm trying Our 
first day is done and dusted. We probably spent about an hour and a half up here at Norquay. We're gonna go into town now and get some food. That is one of the perks of Norquay being so close to Banff. It's so easy just to pop up for a little couple of laps or ride through the park, but it was so much fun. I could honestly stay longer, but the legs aren't hurting too much yet, which is good because we're gonna go to Lake as well this weekend. But it's so nice to be back on the slopes. There's nothing better. It is now a week later and we have finally made it to Lake Louise Ski Resort. We didn't get here as quickly as we wanted straight off to Norway, but we are here now and I am so stoked. I haven't been yet. Tristan came here for a park day the other day and spoke pretty highly of it though. So we're going to go check out what the early season conditions at Lake Louise are like at the moment. It's only been open for just over a week now. So we'll see what the snow is doing, how it is all going out there, and we will show you what it's like to ride at Lake Louise.
that officially concludes our first full day at Lake Louise this season. The conditions up there are really impressive considering the time of year. We've gotten almost no snow in Banff so far. It's a very late start to the season, except for like that one huge dump we had. There's been pretty much nothing. So they are doing so well at making snow and it is just awesome. There's a couple of runs, so you may as well get out, enjoy the early season pricing and make the most of it at the moment. It's also nice because the temperatures are not too cold yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you all have seen, we went to Norclay and Lake Louise. So we've hit two out of the three ski big three resorts here in Banff National Park. We still have to visit Sunshine Village, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.